The New York Botanical Garden celebrates the closing of their three-year exposition, The African American Garden. Curated by Dr. Harris, African American Garden, Diaspora, Same Boat, Different Stops highlights the plants and garden traditions that are at the heart of the experiences and histories of the African diaspora in the Americas. Bronx is basically a borough of black and brown people for the most part. And when you start talking about black and brown people in this hemisphere, you're talking about Africans in diaspora. You're talking about native peoples too. And hopefully there will be a Native American garden. I don't know. But, um, but in terms of this one, it has put the, the focus on the African Americans in the hemisphere. Henry Obispo is the advisor for the garden. He talks more about the diaspora and the relationship between nature and man. This is the most incredible space where we're telling uh, stories, uh, this year specifically about the diaspora, um, but in general about community and really that relationship with plants and that greater relationship with edible plants and plants like the ones on the, uh, this bed uh, medicinal uh, plants that when you essentially engage throughout the hemisphere, you find in different communities and different groups, you find these plants um, at the forefront of community life. Since the pandemic of COVID-19, according to U.S. News, 85% of people here in America have changed their food preparation and shopping habits. Most have changed to a more healthy, homegrown way of eating, which includes an increase in gardening and a decrease in hunting. I think this is just an important thing, especially right now, uh, for folks to begin having ideas and, and action towards uh, reconnecting with the land. Um, it's a healthy thing. It's, it's, a, it's a way of knowing thyself. Um, and I think it's just beautiful. Growing up in Honduras and you know, seeing plantains by my grandmother's house, coconut trees, you know, just growing up on eating cassava and seeing it planted everywhere. I never thought that I could see that in New York City. And the fact that we have uh, cassava <laughs> in New York City is um, so amazing. The New York Botanical Garden always hosts a number of amazing and educational events such as this one. Go to their website, nybg.org, to find out more. Reporting for BronxNet, Kyrie Moody.